Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Mindscape TV. I am Jeff Bell, Director of Digital Marketing Services here at Mindscape, and we have a bit of a craft project for you today. Uh, this will be a fun exercise for you to help you go from this keyword research process where you come up with this big batch of keywords into an optimized sitemap. The process we're going to use is called card sorting. Now, card sorting is typically uh, uh, an exercise that is best done uh, in the process of information architecture. Uh, a lot of people will use that when they have you know, many, many pages of their website and they're just simply trying to group the pages together into a logical order. Um, card sorting works well to kind of help figure out what those logical groupings should be. Card sorting typically works best in a team of three or four. You don't want to get too much more than that or you start to get divergent opinions. Um, what we'll do today is just a sample of about 10 cards uh, for a fictitious site. I've got some, um, some fake search volumes here as well. But um, if you take a look at, at this, this is kind of what the process looks like. Um, when we had three people doing it, and this was for our website. So let's take a look at some of our materials here. Um, I quickly made these up, little cards here. Uh, you can use a business card stock if you happen to have some Avery templates or something lying around. You can certainly use those. But basically all you want to do is um, write down a keyword and its corresponding search volume uh, on each card. So each card gets one keyword. And like I said before, we just have a very small, fictitious candle company website here. I do have some paper clips that you'll need. And uh, sticky notes work well as uh, too for some of this process. And I do have a pen here as we, as we go through. So like I said, you want to write down one keyword per card and lay them all out in front of you. Obviously, as you saw kind of in the example for our website, we had a, a bunch of keywords out there. And you can do this with as many keywords as you have. Um, for this sample though, we're just gonna deal with 10. And what you wanna do is just start grouping keywords together that are tightly related. And, and kind of the rule of thumb I use for that is you wanna be able to imagine using those keywords that you're grouping together, whether it's you know one, two, three, four keywords, you want to imagine using those, being able to write and contain both of those keywords in a few sentences. Uh, you don't want to have to have a full page of copy in order to be able to use the same keywords together. So you'll see what we mean here as we go through. So I, I have a bunch of cards here. I have holiday candles with a search volume of 3,000. I have Soy Candle Company with a volume of 8,000. Candle Company with a volume of 12,000. Uh, Apple Scented Candles at 320. Soy Votives at 600. Votive Candle Holders at 300. Scented Candles at 3,400. Christmas Candles at 3,200. Soy Candles at 11,000 and candle holders at 400. Again, these are completely made up uh, for the purposes of this demonstration. I, I just wanted to, to uh, demonstrate the process here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start with holiday candles here. And I can imagine writing about holiday candles uh, and Christmas candles in the same uh, sentence or two. So I'm gonna put those in a group. Um, I'm also going to put 
let's see here, we have Soy Candle Company and Candle Company. I'm going to put those in a group. Uh, apple scented candles and scented candles. Put those in a group. Um, candle holders and votive candle holders. I'm going to group. And soy candles and soy votives. I'm also going to group. So there you can see I have a few groups here. Now one of the things you want to remember is you don't want to have more than about Probably three is ideal. You don't want to get too much larger than that as far as your keyword groupings go. Um, I would try to shoot for three uh, unless you have really highly related terms that you're trying to go for. Uh, I would try to shoot for uh, three keywords in a group and once you start getting beyond that, you're probably looking at creating a separate group. Um, you, let's say you had you know, seven keywords that might break up into two groups, one of three and one of four, maybe one of three or two of uh, three keywords and, and one of just a single keyword. So try to aim for anywhere between one and three terms per group uh, and it totally is fine to have a group of one. So then what you want to do is once you've got your groups laid out, these now represent the pages of your website, right? And we have, uh, we have a, we'll have a page for potentially apple scented candles, for Christmas candles, for a candle company, for soy candles, and for votive candle holders. So what you want to do is you take each group now, and here's our group, our keyword group of apple scented candles and scented candles. You want to just try to use your best judgment to figure out which is going to be the stronger keyword. So I like to use volume a lot of times because that one is uh, scented candles is 3400, whereas apple scented candles is only 320. So it's going to make sense in this case to use the term with higher search volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that term on top. This will actually become my page name. And I'm just going to paper clip them together, uh, staple them, tape them, whatever you want to do. Um, just clip them together and set it off to the side. So now I have a scented candles page. I'm going to do the same thing with my other groups here. I've got votive candle holders and candle holders. Um, we're probably just going to go with candle holders. It has a slightly higher volume, but um, simply because uh, I have maybe more candle holders than just votive candle holders, uh, I may want that to be my page. Next I have soy candles and soy votives. I'm going to use soy candles as my page. Clip those together. Now I have candle company and soy candle company. Uh, I am going to use candle company as my main page. And then we have Christmas candles and holiday candles. Now here's an example where Christmas candles actually has a 3200 search volume and holiday candles has a 3000. Well, because I'm probably going to have more than just Christmas candles, I'll probably have holiday candles for, for various holidays, I'll probably want to just call this page holiday candles and then during the Christmas season, I'll try to optimize for Christmas candles. So we're going to choose holiday candles for this one, even though it does have slightly um, less search volume, uh, it will make more sense in the site map. So there, I have clipped my pages together. Now these represent now the pages of my website. So within here, now we want to do another card sorting uh, routine to group the pages of our site together. And we are going to create logical groupings again based on these pages. So, and again, you're probably trying to go for, you can have a larger amount of pages now because what you're doing is essentially at this step, now you're grouping your pages into a navigational structure. So what you want to do is, uh, here I've got Candle Company. This will probably be my home page. Okay? There's not really anything else here with my soy candles and candle holders and holiday candles and scented candles that makes sense to be in that group. Now I have, I've got soy candles, scented candles, and holiday candles. These are all pretty highly related. They have to do with candles. So logically, I'm going, it feels like these probably go together. And then I have this candle holders um, page all kind of by itself here. So I'm just going to leave that by itself. And obviously, 
you'd have a lot more of these in a real situation where you had maybe 50 keywords you were going after, probably end up having you know, at least 15 pages roughly um, to a sitemap with 50 pages. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna name these groups. And that's where our sticky notes come in. This is actually gonna be my home page. So um, I'm just gonna name this uh, maybe our company, but you could name it home. Really depends on what you wanna do. And we're just gonna label that group there. Now here we've got soy candles, scented candles, and holiday candles. I'm just gonna name this one candles. And put that there. And then we have just our candle holders. So I'm just gonna put candle holders on here. And there we have it. So what we have done here is basically created a site map and we already have all of our keywords mapped to the individual pages in our site map. So our last step really is to document this so we don't forget it. And usually we do this in a spreadsheet, but for this example, I just kind of have a paper spreadsheet here. And what we're gonna do is this first column is gonna be our page. And then these are gonna be our, potentially our primary and secondary keywords if you wanted to get that fancy. Since we don't have too many keywords in the group, uh, I'm just gonna use this single column here. But you can see we've got an Our Company page or a Home page if you wanna call it that. So we have uh, Our Company and we just write the page in there. And then for the keywords, we're going to map Candle Company and Soy Candle Company to that. So I write, uh, Candle Company and Soy Candle Company in the next column over. And obviously if you want to use Excel for this, you're certainly welcome to do that. I just wanted to uh, ease kind of our demonstration here. And again, this is the page and these are the keywords. If you have many, if there's if you have, let's say five or so, you are going to want to try to prioritize those so that you can optimize more heavily for the more important ones. And that's where maybe you might have two columns of keywords. Uh, you may have some keywords, some primary keywords and some secondary keywords. And that uh, we would use primary keywords and things like the page title, the H1, uh, H2s, that type of stuff. And then your secondary keywords, we try to work into the body copy, maybe some H2s. Um, and then that's kind of how we would prioritize those. It's just kind of the, the use on the page. So we've got our company then under candles. We'll have a candles page. And underneath candles, we'll have our three things here. We have soy candles. We'll have scented candles. And we have holiday candles. And excuse my sloppy handwriting here, but you can see I just used a little carrot indent here to, to denote that these pages are actually underneath this candles page. Obviously then we can map our keywords for each of these pages and we have Soy candles and soy votives and so on and so forth for all of our pages all the way down. And what you end up building here is the start of an optimized start map or site map and an SEO blueprint is what we call this when it's all filled out. Uh, in Excel, what you can do is use this as your starting point and have other columns for your page title, your H1 and H2s, uh, your meta description, and all those good on-page elements all the way across. And then you have a beautiful blueprint uh, for your website that is completely optimized with keywords and all that good stuff. So that is how you go from keyword research into an optimized sitemap. So card sorting for creating optimized sitemaps. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to us at leave comments on our channel. 
uh, that will be fine. You can send us emails, connect with us at our website. I will have uh, on the link to this video, I'll have a link to uh, the template that I used for these cards. So you just print that out on a piece of paper, cut them out. That'll be, uh, that'll be there. And uh, we will have an ebook on this as well that will walk you through the entire process. So thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next week. We hope you found this episode valuable, relevant, and interesting, that you'll like, comment, and share our videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mindscape HMTV. Please join us on Facebook and Twitter at Mindscape HM, or read our blog posts and join us online at Mindscape-HM.com. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next week.